Good morning, everyone. Stray Dog Bill Arnold here, a.k.a. Stray Dog Billy, doing song number 1126 in 1126 days in a row. We started doing one song every day, I don't know, like a 7th of 2020, and here we are 1126 days later doing another one. We're going to keep on doing one song every day until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed in the kill shelters across our country because when the shelters run out of space, there's nothing else they can do. We understand that. They have to start euthanizing, killing the poor dogs and cats who have been there the longest to make room for incoming rescues. This is a terrible tragedy that's, that's going on. Uh, it's been going on for many, many, many decades. And uh, we're still, as a society, allowing it to happen. We're killing right now, every day now, uh, 10, uh, 1100, no, a thousand, more than a thousand dogs and cats are being killed every single day in this country. Back in 2011, it was 7,000 per day. Back in 1970, it's hard to believe, but we were killing at that time. We as a society were allowing this to happen. 41,000 dogs and cats were being euthanized in kill shelters, killed in the kill shelters every single day of the year, 1970, 41, uh, 15 million total that year. Terrible tragedy, it's got to stop. Uh, and we can stop it through spay and neuter. We've got to stop allowing uh, these beautiful animals to procreate wantonly. And we can stop it by spaying and neutering our pets. So that's the answer, and uh, we'll, uh, we will not ha have to uh, kill any of the, there won't be any extras to kill uh, once we just produce as many, allow to be conceived and produced as many as we can take care of. That's what we've got to do in the dog and cat world. We're only talking about the dog and cat world. Okay, today we're going to do, uh, Aaron will be here bed tomorrow for sure. Uh, today we're going to do, uh, uh, Whiter Shade of Pale, the Proko Harem song from 1967, I believe it was. And here we go. Two, three, four. <laughs> I wandered through my playing cards 
And I could not let her be She was one of sixteen restful virgins Who were living for the coast wide open They might as well have been close And so it was that later As the miller told his tale Her face at first was ghostly Shade of Pale, neat song. Now, please everybody, spay and neuter your pets. And I co-founded that shelter back in uh, 1994. We became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 97 and that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS. Most important step we ever took to get our 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations, all contributions, big and small to our shelter tax deductible. You can go online at straydog.org and make a tax deductible donation if you could. Please, it costs a lot more money, a lot more funding to run a no-kill dog shelter, as you can imagine, because we don't kill any of the extras. We take care of them all. All the ones we take in, we take care of. And we're going to keep on doing that. And we, we have complete, well, we go on adoption days every week. That's one of the most important things we do to try to adopt as many as we can out in, in order to be able to take in more rescues. We do, do complete medical care. First thing they get is spayed and neutered uh, or any other injuries they may have when we rescue them. And, and they, they uh, get two delicious meals every single day, one at 6 a.m. and one in the afternoon. And uh, we go out and we have a crew that picks up that poop every, after every meal. So there's no order at Stray Dog. And we uh, have spacious kennels. They're about 30 by 30, most of them. And uh, they, they get uh, park walks. They get to go on, uh, on walks to the park every day. There's two big, two big parks and they have, we have dog walkers that take them. Uh, so, and we have 24 seven coverage at Stray Dog. So it, it does cost a lot of money to run a no-kill dog shelter. And, and, the, and the main reason is that we don't kill them, we take care of them all, and that's what costs a lot of money, as you, as you obviously know, if you've got a pet or, or more than one pet. Okay, we'll be back again tomorrow with Erin, for sure, is going to be here tomorrow, she says, and we'll be back uh, with another song from the Stray Dog Billy and Erin duo tomorrow. And uh, that's it for today, folks.